Losing in WWE games is normal, it happens, but in SmackDown vs Raw 2011's Road to WrestleMania mode, if you played through Chris Jericho's story and lost the first match against Santino, then you would have seen this hilarious game over message that completely roasts you for sucking at the game. Jericho will think you either lost on purpose, because someone as great as Chris Jericho doesn't lose to a guy like Santino, or he'll think you put down the controller and didn't play the match at all. That sure is going to be awkward for those who actually somehow lost to Santino in the first match in the story. But it's not as awkward as the time Paul Heyman literally told you to your face that you sucked. Before we get into that moment however, this video is sponsored by Factor. Looking for a hassle free way to eat healthily? Check out Factor. They deliver fresh, chef prepared meals right to your door. No more guesswork when it comes to healthy eating at all. Factor offers over 30 dietitian designed meals each week with different meal plans for different diets and tastes, like keto, calorie smart, vegetarian, vegan, protein plus, and more. Choose from 6 to 18 meals per week depending on your needs, and if you need to skip a week, no problem. All of Factor's meals are chef prepared and dietitian approved, and you can be sure you're getting healthy, super tasty meals that are packed with premium science backed nutritional quality. The best part? No prep or mess required. Just heat and eat your meals in minutes. And if you need some extra help crushing your health goals, chat with one of their registered dietitians for free. They can help you with weight management, bulking up, or just revamping your diet. You could go from John Candy to John Cena with their help, charisma not included. And the cherry on top, Factor has add-ons like main side shakes, smoothies, and desserts that are perfect for your diet. So eating well and snacking deliciously? Absolutely doable with Factor. Pinning your diet for the three count has never been easier, so sign up using our code or clicking the link in the description. In WWE 2K17's My Career Mode, you're going to try your best to get the attention of Paul Heyman to become the Paul Heyman guy. However, you can gain the wrong kind of attention if things aren't going so well in your career, as you'll get this cutscene of Paul Heyman actually saying to your face that you suck. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Your wrestling sucks. You might need to take a long, hard look at your move repertoire and figure this thing out before you get kicked off of television. Couldn't get any clearer than this one. And at least while that one was on the main roster, there was also another time in WWE 2K17 where the game completely roasts you for having a bad tryout at the Performance Center. At the start of WWE 2K17's My Career, you'll be seen at the Performance Center wrestling matches and cutting promos to the best of your abilities to impress the coaches at the tryouts. If you do well in both matches and promos, then you'll be sent straight to the main roster and directly in the US title division. If you do very good, and if you do pretty good, then you'll be sent to the tag division. If it all went wrong, however, you'll be told directly that you are not ready at all and will be sent to NXT for further training. All right, kid, we made our decision. We're going to think of a persona together and start you off at NXT in the tag team division. This will allow you to work on your wrestling and your character without the risk of falling flat on your face. This is it. Your career in NXT starts now. And even outside of the career modes, tutorials in WWE games would also roast you for performing bad. WWE 2K23's tutorial is hosted by Xavier Woods, who will guide you through everything you need to know and learn to play the game. However, if you mess up during this tutorial, then you would have heard Xavier Woods take some jabs at you. We'll need more than offense to beat John Cena. Defense! Not get hit a lot, Fence. Come on! Making mistakes in the tutorial is one thing, but if you mess up in actual matches, then the commentary team would have had some words for you. When you go for big dives in WWE games, you're supposed to, well, connect with the said big move. So missing those diving moves would have got you some well-deserved criticism by the commentary team. From the top, he paid for that one. Oh man, big time. And whilst most WWE games roasted you vocally, some games like SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 made it less obvious with the way they roasted you for being so bad at the game. SmackDown vs. Raw 2006's season mode would have a strange storyline where JBL would own Tori Wilson's contract for some reason, and you, RVD, and Cena will try and defeat JBL to get ownership of Tori's contract. Yeah, this storyline is a bit confusing, but it was 2005, so whatever. 
Anyway, depending on the choices you made in the story, you'll be backstage with either Cena or RVD as Tori sneaks into the locker room to let you both know that if someone can beat JBL's chief of staff, Orlando Jordan, tonight, then the winner would get JBL at the next pay-per-view for Tori's contract. Your character will argue with either Cena or RVD over who faces Orlando Jordan, which leads to you having a match or brawl with the winner facing Orlando Jordan later on. If you win that first match but lose to Orlando Jordan, then the story will be over early, and you'll be sent to Velocity to put a weak end to the story. This was literally WWE Games' way of telling us we sucked and ruined the entire story for ourselves. Not only would we ruin storylines in SmackDown vs Raw 2006, but we could also ruin entire brands. In GM mode, if you decide to completely kill the brand that you are the GM of by just doing nothing and watching to see what would happen if you have zero fans, then you would have received an email from this man who is furious that you have zero fans watching the show. If you somehow saw this without doing it on purpose, then what on earth went wrong in your brand GM mode? Vince being mad isn't the only way WWE games roasted us. In fact, in a season mode, we literally got called a loser. This all happened because we lost the Royal Rumble match in the OG SmackDown vs Raw season mode. Now because we lost the Rumble and don't have a title, the story just can't progress any further as everything is related to either being a champion or the Rumble winner. Vince actually tries to help you out by offering a chance to go for the US or Intercontinental title, but we just couldn't help ourselves by demanding a world title shot instead. And even after being told it's not happening, we still demanded a world title shot. And this is what causes Vince to lose his patience with us and calls us out for being a loser. And that's why you are in this exact position right now. Come on in, we were just talking about you. Now that you've proven that you're not WWE Championship material, we've decided that you'd make a great United States Champion. So what do you think? Feel like challenging for the United States Championship? You know, it was my idea to give you this opportunity, and I'd be personally offended if you were to turn it down. Mr. McMahon is not a man who likes to hear the word no. And neither am I. You're not getting a WWE title match. You don't deserve that title, damn it. Matter of fact, you don't deserve much of anything. You're a loser, got it? A loser with an overinflated ego. Your superstars have no respect for authority, but I'm going to change all of that starting next week. Uh oh, Mr. McMahon is coming to teach Kurt Angle superstars the meaning of respect. And that was eight times WWE Games roasted us for being bad at the game. See you in the next one.